All right, welcome everybody. It is 4th of July. How are you? Usually uh, 4th of July, let's go just a little jogging place. Usually 4th of July, we are doing a community workout at our local high school in Belmont. And I usually have about 100 people or so showing up. We've been doing that for 10 plus years. Come on, Lauren, stand up. Let's rise and shine. We're all jogging in place right now. We're going to be on the balls of the feet here. Just, just go nice and easy. We've got a fun day ahead of us. We're going to do a core strength workout. We're going to go core. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant cardio strength workout. So we're going to go cardio strength, cardio strength. We're going to do one set of 25 different movement patterns. One set of 25 different movement patterns. Okay. So let's go ahead and just start. Let's just go ahead and let's do some Frankensteins. My, my back's hurting a little bit right now. So my left leg's not going up very high. I'm going to go easy on that one. So let's just go up as high as you can comfortably. And every time we do our movements, I want you to think about three things today. Okay. Three things. Anytime you work out, the, those three things are posture. Number one. So let's just lift up your chest, shoulders back and down. Number two, we want to make sure we're in good form for all of our movements. And number three, is we want to breathe with every movement. Okay. So our next exercise, let's go ahead and just grab the knee to the chest. Every time you grab the knee, I want you to exhale, inhale, exhale, blow out. And I want you to blow out like you're blowing out through a straw. Okay. That's what I want you to do right there. Inhale down, exhale up. As you blow out, I want you to draw the belly in. Perfect. It's good. So every exercise, three things, posture, the form, the breathing. Think about it. I'll be telling you throughout. Okay. Grab a foot and down, switch sides, inhale down, exhale, grab. So I have nine of you connected on my heart rate monitor system right now. Vicky just connected. You're in Elena, Catherine, got you all. All righty. Grab it. Let it go. Inhale down, exhale, grab. So I'm going to cruise today because my back is a little bit off, but I'm going to make you work as hard as you can without pain. All right, let's grab a foot and a knee real tall. Inhale down, exhale, grab. All right, Lauren, how you doing over there? Inhale, exhale. Nice. Grab it, let it go. Leg cradle stretch. Again, we tend to round here. We tend to do that in a lot of movements. Just being aware of it right now. Grab it, let it go. Grab it, let it go. <sighs> okay. Terrific. Let's go ahead and just shift easy, right? Easy left. Our workout today is modeled after the virtual Spartan race. So if you've ever done a uh, Spartan race outside, Spartan has uh, created an, uh, a virtual version of that. And this workout today models that I did change some of the movement patterns, but um, it models it. Okay. If you like the idea of it, definitely consider doing their virtual Spartan race and you can even get a medal virtually, a certificate of appreciation. <laughs> All right, turn. Let's go ahead and turn to your left, keeping your back leg straight. Open up those hips. Hip flexors, let's put both hands on the ground. Both hands on the ground, back leg straight. Let's bring it to the center. Center, center, center. Other side, switch it up. Both hands on the ground. Any sore muscles today? Who's got sore muscles out there? Where you got? Glutes. So we worked yesterday. That's amazing. Center. All right. Good. Just shift right here. Shift right. Shift left. My head's down, but if you can look up, go for it. Keep going. All right. Let's go to a little squat position here. That's how, how low can you sit? Can you sit with your heels on the ground? Rock forward, rock back. Inhale forward, toes, rock to the heels. Couple of these. So we're going to do a, a various forms of push ups today. If needed, just modify with some pulling exercises. For those of you that have more shoulder issues, do less push ups and some bent over rows or any type of rows you can do with whatever equipment you have at home. Okay. Good. Let's come on up. All right, let's do some big arm circles, everybody. Big arm circles. Let's get those joints loosened up. One of the key things, if you want to keep working out, 
is joint mobility. So we want to loosen up all those joints that we're going to be working in the workout. Ankles, knees, hips, trunk, neck, shoulders, other direction. Far too many people get ambitious about starting an exercise program and then get hurt soon after because of improper warm-ups, poor posture, lack of mobility. So we gotta make sure we just do this a little bit of work before we get going. So shoulder mobility, internal rotation, external rotation, forward and back. There we go. This kind of hurts. If you uh, haven't been doing it too much, from the side, you see I'm going all the way back, all the way forward. How far can you go? Okay, now let's go in with the elbows. Let's try to keep them in and bring your hands out as far as you can. You should feel a pinch right around here. Keep going. Out and in. Soften the knees. Nice. And let's just finish the little shoulder assessment here. I did this the other day. You should be able to touch both. If you can't, you're more at risk for some shoulder issues. Touch in touch. Just keep switching. Most people, given the right hand dominant, can't do the right hand. They're like this, and the left hand's like this. So that's usually the culprit because we text and type and all that. So let's just do this for a second. So if that's you, that's again, it's a lot of people out there. Let's take your right hand, bring it behind you. And this is what we need to loosen up. This pec and shoulder area. If you have a hypervolt, one of those uh, electronic massagers or a knockoff, you can go bzzz, bzzz, and loosen that up. Just pull that shoulder back and down. If you're left-handed, it's probably the opposite for you. This is going to help your pull-ups, Gavin. Switch sides. <laughs> loosen up the other side. Just find any tender spots. It's kind of like a little bit of a foam roll here. We're just getting in there. There you go. Keep it going, team. Keep going. So again, we're, we're going to do a continuous workout today, 30-minute continuous workout. If you need a break at any point, go ahead and uh, take it. Get some water, but we're not going to actually stop, okay? So right now is the calm before the storm, but you could uh, increase your intensity any way you want. If you want to go heavier or, high, or higher, go for it, okay? All right, let's rotate a couple here. Ah, good. Rotate, rotate. So remember posture throughout the extra throughout our workout today remember the form i'm going to guide you with form and then third i'm going to guide you with the breathing of all of our various movement patterns all righty so here's what we're going to do so we're going to do cardio first you're going to pick your own cardio but i'm going to give you some options right now so option one let's all do it together let's let's do a little bit of a jog on the balls of the feet lift your toes up whenever we do any agility work whether that be jump rope or side to side stuff lift up your toes okay lift up your toes and be on the balls of the feet now if you want to do another cardio maybe ice skaters we did about 800 of these yesterday so uh you may not want to do those today but that is something maybe you choose to do next maybe for cardio do some step ups up up down down listen for the halfway on the timer so you switch your lead foot okay so do some stuff with me right now just don't stand there keep moving everybody Okay, another option with your step. Let's all do this one. Again, not everybody has a smaller step. This may be a little bit harder for you on your chair, but this is just some options I'm giving you, okay? If you have a jump rope at home, maybe you do cardio with your jump rope, side to side, heel toe, or imaginary jump rope works totally fine. Okay, just those are some cardio movements. So I'm gonna say cardio, you're gonna go 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna give you the strength, okay? So you guys keep moving right there. Keep moving. Let's get up those heart rates, guys. Um, I see a lot of people in the gray zone right now. Susan, you just popped on, but you're not joining the class. So join the class when you get a chance. And uh, I'm gonna go over the first strength exercise just to kind of get us flowing here. So it's going to be a mountain climber. Just keep doing what you're doing right now though. Keep doing your cardio. So our first strength exercise is a mountain climber. We're gonna be in plank position and we're gonna drive the knees. All right, chest is up on that, like always. Belly drawn in, and so we're gonna go from cardio to that one, and then we're gonna go from cardio, and then I'll tell you the next strength exercise, okay? Are you ready? I think so. I think so, we'll get going in like, give me uh, one minute. Give me one minute. If you need water, this is the time to get it, by the way. No water for 30 minutes, unless you need it. 
unless you need it, of course. So here's our heart rate monitors. I'm gonna keep flashing to that throughout uh, the workout. We got Amina out there now, awesome. And Susan, if you can hear me, you have not joined the class. That's why she's at zero. All right, join that class and I will be able to see you. Lauren, you ready? Everybody ready? Okay, team. I'm gonna turn some music on a little bit louder. I'm gonna get the timer on. Let's go cardio in three, two, one, go. Here we go, let's do this. All right, we got 30 seconds of everything today. 30 seconds of everything. I'm gonna just jog in place. There we go. Whatever you wanna do for your cardio, I want you to get in the uh, endurance or the aerobic zone, whatever that is for you. It's about a five to seven on a 10 scale. Five to seven on a 10 scale. I want you to live there most of our workout today with an occasional burst. Okay, here we go. First exercise for strength. Here we go. Let's come on down. Mountain climbers, belly drawn in. We got five seconds in between the strength and the cardio. Let's drive. I want you to go all the way forward, all the way back. Squeeze your glutes. Belly in. And let's breathe little pulses through the mouth. Whenever your belly is drawn in, you can't breathe fully, right? So we need to breathe little pulses. Come on. A few more, everybody. Come on. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Three, two, one. That three second countdown timer means go faster. All right, here we go. Pick your cardio. You wanna do some ice skaters? Go for it. Again, we did, uh, really, we did quite a number of them yesterday. So whatever you wanna do. If you wanna do those, go for it. Do some step ups. Anybody remember this song? Halfway. Halfway. Feel free to do a burpee if you want, Lauren. Feel free to throw burpees in at any time. Our next obstacle or strength exercise is jumping jacks. Doesn't seem like a strength exercise, right? I know. So, keep going, here we go. This is our, our strength right now. It's not really a strength exercise. Keep going, up and down. But you can make it strength by adding a little squat depth. Come down, inhale, exhale. Come on now. We got 30 seconds. We got seven, actually 13 left. Come on now, team, you got this. Add that strength component by coming down. These are called jump squats. Three, two, one. Okay, out of cardio. Out of cardio. I know that was a little bit of cardio. Here we go. If you want to modify, right here, high knees. High knees. So this workout, just so you know, was modeled if you walked in late, it was modeled after the Spartan virtual race. Halfway. So that if you like this format of cardio strength, cardio strength, then consider doing their virtual race. Keep going. Our next strength exercise is going to be a plank. You keep doing your cardio. We're going to go right here. Plank position or on your elbows. Come on down now. Plank with a rotation to the right. Let's do it together. Belly drawn in. Quick transitions, everybody. Belly drawn in, legs straight. If you want to make it easier, drop your left knee. Keep your belly in. Engage your bladder. Do not switch, same side. We're gonna do the right side the whole time, and then we're gonna do our cardio, we're gonna come back and do the left side. Look at your elbow, rotate from your midsection right here. Three, two, one, time. So that was our third obstacle or strength exercise, as, as they call it. They, um, in the Spartan world, let's go cardio. In the Spartan world, they call strength exercises obstacles. So I'm gonna use that throughout the rest of the workout, okay? Obstacles, our next obstacle is a plank with the left side, okay? Keep going. Again, you wanna do some imaginary jump rope, or maybe you have a jump rope, go for it. Let's get those heart rates up. Everybody's in the blue. Natalie's in the 90% zone. Three, two, one, okay, plank, plank it. Let's go, left side. Belly drawn in, shoulders back, rotate. Wider feet makes it easier. Closer feet makes it harder. Try not to rock your hips. Keep going, elbow rotates. Open up your trunk, your golf muscles, tennis muscles. 
Come on, everybody, you got it. Put your right knee down to make it easier. Come on, three, two, one. And remember, we're only doing one set of each movement. Here we go, cardio, cardio. Let's go, taking a look at you out there. I'm gonna flash these heart rate monitors for your heart rates of those who are out there. So Lauren, 63%, Natalie, 56% now. What happened to you, Natalie? Where'd you go? Keep going, everybody. Yes. All right. Looking good, looking good. Let's go. We're going to go to air squats in a moment. In three, two, one. We're doing squats. Feet shoulder width. Feel that little toe, outer foot. Inhale, exhale. Again, we're only doing one set. Let's make it the best. Keep going. Inhale, exhale. I read a study back when I was doing my thesis about multiple set training versus one set. I never forgot that, ex that, that study. It showed that one really good set to max effort, so let's go fast, is equivalent, or not equivalent, you get 80% of the benefits of doing three to four sets. 80% for just doing one set. All right, back to cardio, here we go. So remember, if you do your, your uh, one set, you only have time for one set. And you do it to max effort, go to max effort to fatigue, then you'll get 80% of the benefits. Keep going, everybody. Any type of cardio you want to do. Our next movement is going to be forward lunges. Keep going. You keep going, your cardio. We're going to go here. We're going to go forward and forward lunge. Inhaling, exhaling. Five seconds, join me. Four, eyes straight ahead, posture. Here we go, inhale, exhale. I have my finger on my belly button to remind me to move from the center, the midline. My, head, my belly button area in my head should be going at the same time. Everything stays in alignment. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One set, make it your best. Three, two, one. Cardio, let's go. All right, Bob, how are we doing out there, buddy? All right, Bob's good. Woo let's go, guys, let's go. So, for those of you new to our heart rate monitor system, we want to be in blue the most of the time. That's our aerobic zone. Orange is our high intensity zone. We can't live there forever. We cannot live there forever. But we do want to get up there and go back out of it. We want to go up there and get out of it. Orange is uncomfortable. Orange is uncomfortable. All right, burpees, everybody, yeah! Burpees, modified burpees, for those you don't know what they are. We're gonna modify by stepping down, 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 up, 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 okay? Burpees, let's go. Belly drawn in the whole time. That's what we're doing. I'm modifying, my back is not liking that one right now. Keep going, everybody. Come on now, team, you got it. Down, all the way to the ground. Touch your chest. That is a burpee. If it's not touching your chest, it doesn't count as a burpee. Otherwise, you're probably doing a squat thrust. Time, okay, great job. Cardio, here we go. All righty, all righty. Got to cut somebody's mute. <laughs> uh, who's yelling on Alexa there? Keep going. We're gonna be going to, um, Halfway. what are we doing next? We're doing hand release push-ups. We're trying to find that person who's got their feet off. I don't, know. I don't know. Okay, if you got your mute on, if you don't have your mute on, let me know. Okay, three, two, one. We're going down to hand release push-ups. So, kneeling as needed. We're going up, hand release. Elbows in, chest is up. Kneecaps off the ground if you can. Hand release, drive. Belly drawn in, squeeze your butt. <laughs> Inhale down, exhale up. Hand release push-ups. Kneeling push-ups. If you need to modify the push-up even more, do it, your hands on your couch. Hands on your couch, your chair, something. Three, two, one, time, good job. All right, good work everybody, good work. That was number, that was number eight. Let's jog it out. Again, pick up your intensity on your cardio. 
I got Catherine right now in orange, Vicky in orange, and Natalie in orange. Everybody else is in blue, which is fine, totally fine. But as we get to the end of our, our workout here, our race, our challenge, I want you to get in those uncomfortable zones, those last three minutes. I want you to push. All right, next, keep doing your cardio. I'm gonna show you, tech tuck jumps. We're gonna go here and relax, okay? Now, I'm not gonna do too many of those, but if you want to, go for it. Modification here, modification. Jump squats, jump squats are the modification. A modification of the jump squats is here, okay? Here we go. So the tuck jump is a great exercise for explosiveness. But again, we don't want to hurt ourselves. Give it my back. I don't want to do a little too much, do too much today. Keep going, everybody. You got it. Tuck and jump. How soft can you land? How soft can you land? All right, all right. Cardio time. Let's go. You got this. You got this. Our next obstacle is going to be a plank up down. That'll be number 10. If you joined us late, we're doing 25 obstacles or strength exercises. We're trying to get in the orange zone throughout the workout. We want to go up into it, which is our 8, 9, 10 zone. And then we want to move out of it because we can't stay there forever. Cannot stay there forever. Give me three, two, one. Okay, plank up downs on your elbows quickly. All right. Plank position on your knees as needed. Hand, hand, elbow, elbow. I'm going right, left, elbow, elbow, right, left, elbow, elbow. Get ready to switch it. Belly stays in. Breathe through the mouth. Switch sides. Left hand, right hand, left elbow, right elbow. Squeeze your butt. Belly drawn in. Come on now, team. Knees are off the ground, of course, to make it harder. Knees on the ground to make it easier. Time! All right, let's jog it, step it, do something, cardio. Our next obstacle is backwards lunges. How are you doing, Lauren? We're moving, we're shaking. All right, if you're doing step ups right now, switch your lead foot. You've got to switch that lead foot. You can do this with a chair. Small stool, small coffee table. All right, backwards lunges, real tall. We're gonna move from that center again. Center. If your knees are a problem, don't go that low. Inhale, exhale, eyes straight ahead. Come on team, a little bit uncomfortable is our goal. Those final three minutes, I want you a lot uncomfortable. So pace yourself. Imagine this is a race. We got about, I don't know, 20 minutes left. Something like that. Maybe not that long. All right, time, cardio. About around 18 minutes, come on. Here we go, cardio time. Cardio time. Our next movement pattern is gonna be, what is it gonna be? Knee slap mountain climbers. You keep doing your cardio. Looks like this. All right, we're gonna be in plank. Knee slap, knee slap. Keep your posture. Keep that belly drawn in, breathing. That's our movement, keep going. Cardio, give me a little more burst. Three, two, one, okay. Knee slap mountain climbers. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Here we go. Wider feet as needed to make it easier. Keep your chest up, knee slap, knee slap. You wanna go harder, go faster. Keep going, everybody, come on now. You got it, you know what to do. Posture, breathe. Let's keep that butt squeeze though, Natalie, come on. Plank position, everybody, plank position. Your butt should not be in the air. Imagine there's a, you wanna keep, I was gonna say a sniper, but keep that butt down, keep it down, okay? Cardio, let's get it up. Sniper, it's the first thing that came to me. I don't know. Keep your butt down if the sniper is shooting at you, okay? Not that you know a sniper is shooting at you, but yeah. Keep going, everybody. Come on, Karen, you need one more. There you are. Vicky, one more little level up. We're gonna go to one-legged bridges next on your back. So you keep cardioing. I'm gonna show you. 
We're gonna get on your back with your feet on your chair. We're gonna go right leg only. So let's come on up, let's get that bridge. We're gonna go left leg out, inhale down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. I want you to really squeeze your glutes as you draw, at the same time draw the belly in and engage your pelvic floor. That's your bladder. That's your sphincter muscles. Do not switch. Let's keep it. Remember what leg you did. We're going to come back to it after we do our next cardio. Come on now, team. A few more. Three, two, one. Time. Cardio. Let's go. Here we go. Cardio will come back. If you want to just stay here, you can stay here as well. If you need a break, stay here and stretch. Stay here and stretch if you need it. Just keep moving while you stretch though. We'll get ready to do our other side. If you want to do that cardio, just keep moving. That's great. Keep going team. Come on. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe out. Three, two, one. Okay, let's get after it. Obstacle number 14. Here we go. We're doing 25, 25. Left glute, down, up, inhale, exhale. Squeeze your glute at the top, your left glute, your left one. Come on, team. Inhale, down, exhale, draw the belly in, engage your pelvic floor, the bladder, the sphincter. You got it. Few more, few more. Drive, drive, drive. Three, two, one. Okay, let's get that cardio in. Let's do it. Come on now. I'm going to do some side to side steps. So if you have a chair, you go like this, right, left. Keep going. Next one we're going to do is dips. Dips. Keep doing that. I'm going to show you the dips. All right, here's what we're doing. Shoulders are back. Feet underneath your knees. We're going to go up and down. Remember on dips, it can definitely hurt your shoulders if you go down too low. Just a little bit down and a lot up. Come on, join me. You want to make it harder? Extend those legs. Come on now. Inhale. Exhale. If you have a shoulder issue, you could also just consider holding it here if you can. Hold the top. Elena, you're in the orange zone. Everybody else is in blue. Keep going. Come on now, Karen. Blue. Orange. Whoa, Linda's orange. Amina's orange all of a sudden. Come on, team. A few more. Breathe. Every every rep, breathing. Two, one, time. Larissa's in the orange. Here we go, right there. And again, you don't have to be in the orange the whole workout. Just every once in a while. Get uncomfortable. Let's go. Cardio. All right, looking good, everybody. Lauren's working it over here. She's working it. 66%. Keep going, team. Woo We're going one-legged squats next. You keep cardio. Keep doing your cardio. I'm going to show you our next one. We're going to go squats with your chair. Okay. Two-legged squats, if that's all you can do. Or, ideally, try to get one-legged squats right now for 30 seconds. I'm going left leg. 30 seconds. Inhale. Exhale. Barely touch, barely touch. You don't have a chair? We can do it this way. Keep going, same side. Same side. I can use my back leg as like a kickstand. Inhale, exhale. Come on now, three, two, one time, cardio. We could do some standing mountain climbers for cardio. Pick up your pace. We're gonna go one-legged squats on the other leg in a moment. One-legged squats on the other leg. Don't forget what leg you did. I want you to be balanced on this 4th of July. Nothing like oh, asymmetries on 4th of July. <laughs> Illegal fireworks and asymmetries do not go well. Here we go. We're going to be coming onto our squats here in a moment. We got four seconds. Three, two, one. If you have something like this at home, this is a great device. You can do your one-legged squats here. Inhale, exhale. Do your other leg, everybody. One-legged squats. Inhale, exhale. The great thing about a 
suspension trainer is that it allows us to help ourselves out. Inhale, exhale. I personally think everybody should have one of these at home if you can figure out where to put it. If you're working outside like Larissa, you can put it on a tree, wraps around a tree, okay? Cardio, everybody, cardio. Jump rope, side to side. Do something that brings your heart rate up. Let's go. So we are on to station 18 or obstacle 18. Okay, coming up. And that's gonna be a decline push-up if you can do it. So a decline push-up is an elevated surface. So maybe feet on the couch. You're not supposed to put your feet on the couch. Keep doing your cardio team, watch me. So right here, elevated feet. Inhale, exhale. This is only gonna be for those of you that are strong enough to get in this position. Okay, you could also put your knees on an elevated surface though. Here we go. You could also just hold it. Head up, chest up, belly drawn in. Engage the pelvic floor, the butt, the bladder. Inhale, exhale. A couple of you out there, I bet can do a one-legged push up. <laughs> Lift one leg. Come on now. <laughs> Come on team, you got this. Keep going. Three, two, one. Time. Great job, cardio. Come on now, team. Cardio time. Let's get those heart rates up. All right, we're doing great. We're keeping in the blues. We're keeping in the orange. Nobody's dropped into gray. Gray is very low level. So great job, everybody. What do we got next? We got Bulgarian split squats. Bulgarian split squats. I'm going to show you that. Regular split squat is here. Bulgarian split squat is elevated back leg, low eleva elevation. Let's tuck your back hip, real tall. Inhale, exhale. I know there's not a lot of transition time, I got that. But we're only going one leg right now, 30 seconds, that's all you need. Remember what I told you. If we do one really good set, you get the results. You get 80% of the results of three to four sets. We usually do three to six sets of movements. I'm on, remember what leg you did. I have my right leg forward. You remember what one you did. We don't want to be doing the same leg twice. Cardio, here we go. All right, good work. There it is, there it is. Cardio team. How about some hopscotch maybe, I don't know. How about some forward back pedals? Forward pedal, back pedal. Come on. Halfway. Woohoo! Get ready for those Bulgarian split squats. They're coming up. Come on, Amina. You got this. Amina's doing extremely well. Started our program about four weeks ago. We're going up and down. Lost about 10 pounds. Doing extremely well. Becoming more aware. Reducing stress. Let's get everybody. Bulgarian split squats. Tuck your right glute under. Squeeze your right glute. Inhale down, exhale up. You want to make it harder? Hands behind your head. Lean back a little bit. Come on, squeeze your booty. A lot of oranges right here. Come on, Elena. Rochelle. Saturday, 4th of July. We get to eat after this. Maybe? All right, time. Cardio. Here, we got those done. Got some easy stuff left. Keep going. Jog it out. How about some liners? Kind of like a forward liner, forward back, forward back pedal, forward back pedal. You keep going. I'm going to show you number 21. That means we're almost done. 21. Looks like this. We're going to go here and up. Inhale, exhale, thumbs are up. All the way down, all the way up. Let's get down, everybody. Here we go. Chest is up the whole time. Belly's in the whole time. Here we go. Everything is up. How high can you lift everything? My angles. I'm making a Y. Lock your shoulders. Your shoulders should not be involved. Halfway. Halfway. Fast as you can. Keep going. Fast as you can. Your speed, not mine. You're fast as you can. Come on. Belly drawn in. Squeeze your booty. 
Saves your back to keep the belly in. Three, two, and one. Cardio. Let's go. All right, we got walkout push-ups next. Walkout push-ups. We're almost done. Almost done. Remember I said about saving your energy a little bit till the final three minutes? The final three minutes is here. Let's go. I like that uh, Pat Gavin's doing a Tai Bo move. That works. I remember that. I saw Tai Bo at the airport once. Very big man. Very large man. Okay, walk out push-ups. Let's keep the legs straight. Hands on the ground. We're gonna walk the hands forward, down, push up. Walk your hands back. Legs straight, arms straight. Inhale, exhale. Keep your heels on the ground, or get your heels to the ground. Walk them forward onto the toes. Push up, kneeling push up, as tolerated. Remember, let's go a little faster on these final few minutes. You can kneeling, do kneeling push-ups. Three, two, one, time. You could also just walk forward and backwards on that one. That's called an inchworm. Here we go. We got three things left. Three things. All right, here we are, come on. You guys have faded on me a little bit. Let's pick it up. We got flutter kicks coming up. Flutter kicks, come on, Bob. Gavin, come on, turn it up. Flutter kicks are gonna be on the stomach. Uncomfortable, let's get uncomfortable. Natalie's a little uncomfortable, I think. We're gonna be on the stomach in a moment. Here's our movement. Come on down with me right now. Belly drawn in. I wanna see your thighs off the ground, ideally. Keep your belly in though. Modify here. Modify by just doing one leg slowly. Keep going. Come on, flutter, flutter. Halfway. Come on team, halfway, 15 seconds, pick it up. Your glutes are firing. It's not gonna raise your heart rate up that high. So we gotta, how about we add a couple burpees right here as soon as you get up. Three, two, one. 30 seconds of burpees if you can for your cardio. Let's go. Burpees, you know what, you know how to do them. Get on your stomach, stand up. Any way you can, if you're not jumping, that is okay. That looks great. Good job, everybody. Looking good. Come on, Doris. Your favorite exercise. I know you miss these. Come on, come on. Come on, Catherine. Drive. This is our cardio. We're going to go to prison cell push-ups. Or if you have, um, if you have rowing, if you have dumbbells for rowing, do some rows, okay? Otherwise, prison cell push-ups. Looks like this. We're going to go push-up. Drive, inhale, exhale. Do rows if you have the equipment or pull-ups as Gavin does. That'll give us a little more balanced workout today. Got a lot of push-ups in. Halfway. Come on, we're almost done with our workout. It's 9.42. Again, we're just minutes away from being done. Final push. Triceps are gonna be feeling it tomorrow. Three, two, one. Cardio, second to last cardio, second to last, go. All righty, we got our final obstacle coming up here. Final obstacle, come on now everybody, you got this, finish it up. Get uncomfortable, get it to about an eight, nine, 10, everybody Halfway. on a 10 scale. We're gonna finish our final obstacle with a burpee and a tuck jump. Burpee, tuck jump, so again, uh, we got our tuck jump. And then it's the burpee. Modify as needed. Tuck jump. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to avoid it. Ready? Go! Here we go. Burpee tuck jump. I need to find someone who could do this well. I'm going to use Linda here. Linda. There she is. Thank you, Linda, for being my model. Woohoo! All right. Burpee tuck jumps. I know, Rochelle. I know. Why are we doing that? Or Dane. Come on. Don't hurt your back too, Dane. <laughs> I did not hurt my back doing this, by the way. <laughs> Keep going. Come on, everybody. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna do one more cardio. One more cardio. Are you ready for it? Let's see. This is gonna be it. Okay, everybody, let's go. Final 30 seconds. Everybody in the orange. Rochelle, come on. 
We're gonna get you up there today, okay? What do you think? Final push, everybody stay in the orange. I want Rochelle to get in the orange. Maybe Susan. What do you think, Susan? Come on, final push. Whatever gets your heart rate up, do it right now. Usually that's gonna be a lateral movement, lateral shuffle. We got Rochelle in the orange. Susan, are you there? I don't know if you, she's there. I, I can't see her right now, but keep going. Give me 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Susan is holding strong at 82 though. That works for me, I'll take it. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and march it out, nice. There's our calories, guys. Look at Natalie, holy mackerel. 600 calories, what? All right, so I think something's wrong with your heart rate monitor, Susan. <laughs> All right, good, let's march it out, everybody. So you can see our numbers here. And you, you know, we're not trying to compare to each other, but just get an idea of the spectrum of calories. You burned at least 380, let's put it that way. At least 300 something. And now, remember, even though when we finish with the workout, we're still burning calories, okay? We are still burning our calories. Nice job, okay. Let's just go ahead. Let's just, let's just stretch it out real quick. And breathe, breathe. How fast can we get the heart rates down now? How fast can we take them down? How are you doing, Lauren? All right, good work. <sighs> Switch it up. Switch it up. So if you want to know how many calories you burn, Lauren, it is. Where are you? 365, according to our monitor here. All right. Good, good, good. Let's just stand up for a moment. Actually, I'm going to move forward a little closer here. All right, let's grab a foot and hold it right now. Work on balance and breathing. Actually, I'm going to just show you the Harvey monitors just because you don't need to really look at me right now. And I want you to bring your numbers down. If you're on that screen or, or you're not on the screen, it doesn't matter. I want you to breathe and hold your position with good posture. And just like Lauren did, oh, she almost did. She went gray for a second. I want everybody to go gray on your screen if you have a monitor. That's at 65% or lower. Switch sides. So we want to get those heart rates to go down as fast as we can. And we can do that by looking at the numbers, maintaining that good posture so we can breathe deeply. If your shoulders are rounded, your head's forward, you can't, deep, you can't do deep breaths. Expand out rib cage, blow out. Awesome. Numbers are going down. Good. Let's go in on let's go on your back right now. Let's just stretch out the low back. Good work. Stretch out a few things, not just the low back. So if you like this workout, it is on um, I'll, I'll be I recorded this one. This is uh, gonna be posted on YouTube. And also it all all workouts are on my website as well, with all the details. So if you you probably, now that you did it, you don't even need the uh, video. You know what they are. You could just uh, print out the workout, which I did here. I have the workout printed here. It's 25 exercises. You choose your own cardio. So I got all those details for you if you want them. Let's go ahead and extend your legs a few times. Inhale down and up. Inhale and up Whew. inhale exhale extend those legs all right great let's take your uh left leg and bring it across i'm uh putting my hand under my head because my microphone slow deep breaths inhale exhale try to keep both shoulders on the ground Switch sides. Great work today, everybody. Glad you got it in. I have my right hand on my left knee right now. Try to keep your left shoulder on the ground. Whew. Let's switch one more time. And this time, when we do that same exercise, let's extend the leg 10 times. 10 times extension. Toes to the nose, inhale down, exhale, extend. Inhale, exhale. Breathe every rep, 10 times. When you're done with 10, go to the center 
and grab your knees to the chest again. All righty, other side. Switch it up. Extend the leg. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Just to feel this in the whole outer leg and the low back. Sacrum area right here. After 10, knees to chest. All righty. Let's get those hip flexors. Let's roll to the center or to a kneeling position. Okay, let's go right here. Let's go one foot forward, one foot back. Let's target those hip flexors right now. So we're gonna shift our weight forward, tuck your back hip in. I have my, well, I'm gonna say my left leg is forward. Let's go left leg forward. Tuck your hip. I'm squeezing my right glute, my right glute. Feel that? Hip flexors. Really shift your weight forward without, without bending backwards. So we're moving from the midsection again, that core. Now, go ahead and just reach up, inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, lean back a bit, really open up those hips. Again, deep breath in, belly goes out, rib cage expands. Exhale, blow out through the mouth, lean back. Ah. Side bend over the front knee. There it is. Inhale, deep breath in. Belly rib cage expands. On the exhale, side bend. Ah. Okay, let's go to center. Final stretch. Actually, we'll do a child's pose after this. Okay, tuck your back hip under. Shift forward. There it is. Open up that back hip right here. There we go. Reach up, reach up. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale, lean back. Again, deep breath in. Belly rib cage expands. Exhale, lean back. All right, side bend. Keeping that back hip tucked. And then side bend over this knee here. Ah, good. Breathe. Open. Remember our word of the week is adapt this week. Adapt. Adapt and overcome. So if you're having challenges, think about, you know, are you stuck because you're living in the, in the past? You don't want to change? You know, we've got to think about how do we adapt in our ever-changing world. It changes every second now. If something's not making you happy, consider doing something to change. We have to change pretty quickly these days. Can't hold on to the past. Breathe. All right, team, let's go ahead. Let's go into a child's pose. So our word of the week is adapt. Next week, starting tomorrow, our word of the week is freedom. Freedom for next week. Sound appropriate given 4th of July is here and all. Extend those arms, sit back. Let's try to get the butt to the heels. Just finish here. While you're here right now, I just want you to think of three things you're grateful for. Three things. We often think about all the challenges and all the things we need to do or didn't do. In order to have a victory for your day, sometimes just, just a quick little shift in your mindset, just a quick little shift in your focus on what is going well. So what are your wins? What are your victories or what are you grateful for? It's all the same. So think about three things right now. Hold on to that. Remember those whenever you're feeling a little bit challenged, overwhelmed. Just change your focus, change your mindset. All right, team, thank you for joining. We are done. So we burned, uh, let me tell you how many calories you burned today. I'll flash it up on the screen real quick. We had about 25 of you on, uh, online here. And then uh, for those of you watching this later, Please give me a, a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it on the uh, YouTube channel. So uh, we have our uh, leaderboard. Man, Natalie, 760 calories. So I can actually do leaderboard stats here too. Uh, so you can see where we are there. That's awesome, guys. Good work today. And uh, remember, a lot of water right now. Minerals, electrolytes. If you sweat it a lot, let's replenish your body with electrolytes. 
if you need any, have any questions on electrolyte drinks and whatever, let me know. But the best thing is, or cheap thing is right now, pink Himalayan salt and water. That is the cheap and effective mineral replacement. Okay, so have a good 4th of July, everybody. Be safe. No illegal fireworks. Don't blow up my house. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Bye.